So starting off, we're matched up in mid is Hunbots and Poseidon versus Wheelix and Vulcan. I know right away that they're going to outclear and outpressure us, which means that they're going for our speed, and now I need to decide what buff we should go for. I decided I'd rather not look for a fight because they have a better early game anyways, so instead I look to secure our right side buffs. After we take our red buff, they still aren't back in the wave, so we push them to their tower and take their red buff next. Now at this point, I may be lacking some mobility, but we're still keeping up in farm, and now I'm in a great position to gank the enemy duo lane. I see that the AD carry and support are staying close to each other, so I put another point into my 2 so that I can get some more AoE damage on this upcoming gank. Normally I'd get my jump here, but an extra point in my 2 does give me more damage overall. Finally I've hit level 5 and it's back to the duo lane. I heard a call from my AD carry that their duo lane was headed to purple buff and I immediately rush over to see if we can get a pick. Hunbatsal is great for situations like these where your opponents are clumped together, making it easy to CC them both and deal a lot of damage. Unfortunately, we're not quite able to kill Rama, but we do still get his beads in the process and send him back to the base, which is still a win. Shortly after I've got my ult back again, I'm rotating over to the solo side where my speed buff has just spawned. I see that Sobek has bodied the enemy Hercules a little bit, and even though Sobek just backed, I'm pretty certain that I have enough damage to finish Hercules myself. I sit around the corner to see if he'll push up for wave and also see that he ults once he does. So I lead with the ult, I wipe out the surrounding minions with my 2, and I stick to him as much as possible with a teleport on my 3. Notice that I wait until the teleport duration is just about to end in order to get off as many auto attacks as I can. Now it's time for Wheelix to gank me, but she never really had a chance. I mean, I get out with like 8 HP. That's 7 more than I even need. Back from base with full HP, I'm looking to pressure the dual lane with ult once again. Unfortunately, it's not quite up when our AD carry is getting chased by a super out of position Bacchus, but like I said, he's super out of position, so it's an easy kill. Now I see that I'm getting ult right now and look for an opportunity to chase this Rama while it's still one on one. I know his beads are up, but I think that I can do enough damage that I should be able to get him to burn them. Sure enough, I hit him hard and I get his beads, backing off just in time before Wheelix has a chance to do much. After a few minutes of farming, I see an opportunity to pick Bacchus in the middle lane. I can fear Bacchus into a Poseidon Kraken while fearing away the other two enemies, but Poseidon doesn't recognize the potential kill, and now I'm in a dangerous position. With Kraken, it definitely could have been a kill, and unfortunately with Bacchus alive, he gets a chance to use his ult, which in the end is the reason I die. Now a while later into the game, Bacchus and Hercules are aggressing 2v4, and I don't hesitate in turning on them. Everything's going well, we're able to kill Bacchus and then the Awelix losing Shibalonk at the end, but that's fine, it's a 2 for 1. At least it should have been, but Sobek, hyped up on adrenaline, decides to go for an aggressive pull, which quickly leads to his death. One of the most common mistakes I end up seeing in Smite is people trying to keep fighting once the fight has been won. Learning to take small wins will get you a long way. Next up is a good play gone bad. As we stop the enemy team from taking the fire giant, I see a chance to wipe the enemy Rama and improve our odds in a fight. I beads out of the Bacchus stun and any potential Herc stun, only to get thrown into a full Vulcan combo. My mistake here was using beads early, using it to immune the stun rather than keep it up in case I need to escape a Hercules dash, just like that one. It's not the stun itself that was dangerous, but the position the dash put me in, and I should have been aware of that before I burned beads. And now it's time to wrap this video up with one final tip. Don't be afraid to use Hunbatsal just to make sure that you get a kill. There are times where you'll want to use your 2 to secure a kill, but since it can be cancelled and the channel takes some time, it's not always a reliable option. It's okay if you need to use your ult just to make sure that you get the kill in one of these situations. Just remember that you're getting a 1 for 0 trade, which is always a good thing. Once again, small wins are important, so try not to get too greedy. So thank you all for watching, this has been an in-depth commentary on Hunbots, and I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think about the series, most games will have more for me to talk about, but since this one was a little shorter, I feel like it was a good trial run. As always, this is Mast, and I'll see you all next time. I've been seeking for the glory, say, say, say my name. And I've been trying to wrap my own story. In the search for fame I'm sitting here in this empty room Walls keep tumbling down